What's up, people? Uh, we're back. I am in a big old garage. Um, some of you guys might recognize it from other videos. Um, a couple of videos I shot a while ago. Ooh, we are taking our sweet time focusing. Anyways, uh, yeah, up in that kind of loft area, right over there, I think. I shot another video. But uh, as you guys might have noticed from the beginning, Something interesting rolled into the shop. Uh, it looks like a Humvee. I don't know if it's exactly a Humvee. But uh, apparently the police force has deemed it uh, necessary. The police force of my small middle class town with a very low crime rate has deemed it you know, necessary that we need a Humvee. I don't know why, you know, I really, I really couldn't tell you, uh, but, oh, here's some interesting stuff, too, just the, uh, kind of the stats, U.S. property, so I'm assuming this did belong to the military at some point, um, you know, that's not really up to me. What is up to me, though, is to potentially be the first person, oh, here's a look at the inside, sorry, there is, I would love to get some better lighting in here. But there's a laptop, radio, a screen, steering wheel, blah, blah, blah. Um, I would look, I'm assuming I'm one of the first people to uh, open Pokemon cards in one of these. Uh, so I'm pausing, well, not pausing, but I put it down for a second because I need to climb into this thing, and it's hard to do with one hand. So I'm going to try and just give you guys a nice look for a quick second while I kind of clamber up this thing. Yeah, apologies if this looks bad, but uh, i got to do what i got to do for the content. Here's the engine. Here's the top. These big old exhaust things. And here's the back, which has a bunch of stuff in it. Anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting you guys' time and we can get to the content you're all here for. Ugh. I got sledgehammers, crowbars, a lot of, a lot of stuff. We are here for Pokemon cards. Uh, so recently, a couple days ago, I went to Family Dollar, and I found that they were stocked up. Check this out. I got Steam Siege, which, excuse me if I'm wrong about this, but I think that's like a, a really sought after set that people really like. You know, there's a lot of great cards in it, really cool kind of aesthetic. Um, so I grabbed a couple of these uh, Check Lane Blisters. Comes with a promo card, a coin, and of course a pack. So here it is, Steam Siege. These are probably the oldest. Here's the promo card, Lucario. And here's a look at the coin, Mew. Uh, this is probably the oldest thing, I wouldn't even say probably, definitely the oldest pack I've opened on the channel so far. It's something to the tune of five years old. I or no, maybe the Primal Clash and Ancient Origins I opened are uh, are older. I actually don't know. I think it's less to the f it might be less to the front. Um or no there's no energy in the back I think. So I'm gonna try and Hello, focus? Man these cards look so old in comparison. Okay, here we go. Sorry, we have Nuzleaf, Braviary, Nosepass, Nidoran, Litleo, Sneasel, Meryl, Nidorino, I think I did not take enough off the back, and Yen Mega. And then, yeah, Rapidash. Okay, so it's three off the back, and then there's no energy in these packs. Okie dokie. Um, 
So I have two of these. I decided to get the other promo card too, Floette. Um, but yeah, I was really, really happy because the Family Dollar I went to was like stocked up. Uh, and I can show you guys a picture of the other stuff that I got from there. And not even a picture, I'll, we'll be opening the rest of the stuff I got from there. Ooh, these packs, these packs are really, really, oh, damn it. Well, I'm sorry about that. But it looks like we didn't pull anything good. Now, these packs just come undone. Oh, I forgot they have these. Is this a shiny Azumarill? Cool. Uh, Lampant. Nose Pass. Nidoran. Litleo. The same Litleo. Sneasel. Meryl. Reverse Hollow Spirit Tomb. And Galvantula. Okay, cool. I don't understand what these... I guess there's double type stuff from Steam Siege? I don't know. I, uh, this was way, way before my time. But, uh, that was fun. Maybe I'll open more Steam Siege in the future. Uh, I know it's a pretty... Uh... <laughs> it's a set, alright. I won't, you know, pretend that I don't know the discourse of it. But yeah, I mentioned this in the last video. But one of the reasons I was so happy to go to Dolly Jungle or Family Dollar, is of how much uh, Sword and Shield base set they had, which it's a set that I really like, and in the last video I mentioned how much I want to keep opening it. Uh, and now I found an easy spot to find a bunch of it. And hopefully we can fill the holes in our collection, and uh, I mean, if, if everything works out perfectly, I can pull a full art money. Reverse Hollow Oranguru, and Snorlax. Cool, this is the non hollow version of the Snorlax I pulled in the last video, if you guys remember. So I have a bunch of these, you can even see, still see the uh, Family Dollar fucking little things to make sure these don't get shoplifted, which I'm sure they do quite a lot. Um, so I have a couple more packs of this, and then I have some dollar packs that they were uh, holding up front. And then we can figure out what else. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of always just on the hunt for finding more stuff, uh, finding places that have not been picked over by either scalpers or other members of the hobby. Uh, and luckily supply is returning. I just recently bought a lot of stuff, maybe too much stuff, uh, off the Pokemon Center. Mushina. Uh, so, I mean, I'm stocking myself up with lots of stuff, so I'll have lots and lots of stuff to keep opening for you guys, which, um, you know, is the goal. Also, man, I keep forgetting to tell you guys to subscribe at the beginning of the video. I'm really bad at that. I think I just get so excited about whatever weird thing we're doing for the day that it just completely slips my mind to, uh, just be like, hey guys, you should subscribe. Uh, whatever. I trust you guys to make the right decision and support me. <laughs> that sounds a little egotistical. But, uh, whoa, shit! Ooh, alright, this is my first secret rare from the set, not counting the, uh, Marnie I got a long, long, like, seven or eight months ago. This is awesome! I like the, the kind of glow it has. See the rainbow. Ooh, this is so nice. Damn, this is awesome. I don't know if it's, like, worth anything, but... I mean, I definitely don't have it. Let me pull out my sleeve so this thing doesn't get damaged in any way. And we will... Ooh, it has that special texture, too. Oh, that is awesome. Sweet. I'm probably gonna hard plastic this, but I will do that when I'm done recording, because... We still have some more to do, and we're only... We're already ten minutes in, just about, so... I don't want to waste you guys' time any more than I might have already been. But that's awesome! That is a, a certified uh, score. Alright. I actually don't know 
what set I've opened the most of. I feel like Sword and Shield base set has got to be up there, because I've opened, like, probably 30-something packs of it at this point, which, for me, is a lot. But I see people online who are like, yeah, I opened 200 Shining Fates uh, packs to try and get the Charizard, and I still didn't, which is, like, insane to me. Poltergeist. All right. Uh, so, I mean, that's... I respect their dedication, but also I uh, cannot necessitate that much spending on Pokemon cards. As, as, as much as I'm, you know, really interested into it. I still have student loans to take care of and whatnot. Okie dokie. So this is our last Sword and Shield pack. Let's see if we can get one more hit for the, for the content. Because right now we're doing okay-ish. I wasn't expecting anything from the Steam Siege. And then we are one for four on these packs. Although I have... Uh, I don't know, Reverse Hoskarupi and Chinchino. Okay. Not a hit, but whatever. And the last thing we're going to do to cap off the video is I have some dollar packs that... They were selling right up by the counter uh, at Family Dollar. They were in bundles of two for some reason. I don't really know why. But I uh, grabbed a couple of those. Figured I'll see if I can get a hit. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't really know what the really nice cards in Unbroken Bonds are, but I know there's some cool tag team cards. We can kind of see one to the front. Nothing. Okie dokie. Yeah, I think this is, um... I have to wonder, unless there's any, you know, troops who are really into Pokemon cards, which I'm sure there are. You know, there's nerds everywhere. Um... I have to be one of the first people to do this. Or at least in a police, uh, kind of modified Humvee. Uh, there was an, R there was a police RV here yesterday, but it left before I had the opportunity to, uh, do anything with it, so that kind of remains, uh, a boundary that has not been crossed. Yes. Okay, last pack for the day, and then I will bid you farewell into the next video. Alright, energy... Esper. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Oh my fucking god! Yo! Last pack luck? Holy shit! Rainbow Rare, Gardevoir, and Sylveon GX. Oh my god, this looks nice. Centering looks not. maybe not perfect, but decent. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sleeve this really quickly. And we will call it a day. Wow, this is a really, really good pull. Ooh, God, it's so shiny and nice. Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. Fuck, this is awesome. All right, well, I would consider this a success. And we got that last pack lock, too. So, kind of one more step. Here's what it looks like when I'm standing up. You know, let's get up on one of these benches. There's a big toe. I don't know what that is. For cutting something, maybe? SUV. Yeah. This is just the big industrial shop for the town government. Where they bring in cards and, or cars and trucks. Uh, so we don't have to outsource fixing things. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I, uh, kind of felt like I wasn't quite on top of, you know, doing something interesting or being charming, entertaining, but, you know, I'm kind of just trying to be, just trying to be real, kind of be chill, because, uh, part of me does not like the fake hype that a lot of YouTubers do, you know, nothing against them, everyone's just trying to make their channel what they want it to be, and I want this to be a nice kind of welcoming, chill situation. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. 
Uh, catch you later. Make sure to like and subscribe.